Hi, hello, welcome to HRDR Universe. And recently, we traveled to Maldives. Yes, and this is my first individual international trip. And all thanks to Gold Maldives for making this uh, Maldives trip in budget. Yes, they did it in budget. And this video is all about the budget, the commercials involved, the expenses, the SIM cards, and how to do your international trip something like that because i did it first time i did some mistakes and i don't want you to repeat those mistakes my travel vlog was already been shot and kept in this video so make sure you watch that video first and after that you watch this video for the details so yes let me just recap the itinerary so it is very simple you will be landing in male airport which is the international airport of maldives and from there you will be transferred to difushi island which is a local island in a ferry and in the Fushi Island, you'll be having two days to explore so you can just roam around. And what I did in those two days will be in this video. So yeah, so you make sure you watch that video so that there won't be any confusion. You will have a very beautiful stay, which is Beach House the Fushi. And after that, you'll be transferred to another local island, which is called Tulujjo Island. And in Tulujjo Island, you'll be staying in Coral Inn. And by the way, this is Coral Inn. I'm shooting this in Coral Inn because this room is crazy good. So yeah, here you'll be having two days to spend and after these two days, you'll be going back to Mali Airport and from Mali Airport to your place. So this is the Maldives package that I came. But the only thing is, so from Mali Airport to Mali Airport, everything is included by Gold Maldives package, which I took. But to reach Male from your place, you have to take the own ticket like I did. So I traveled from Bangalore. So I took a Bangalore to Male ticket and Male to Bangalore ticket. And I took the written ticket because uh, Maldives issues visa on arrival for Indians with free of course. So you don't have to pay anything extra or any money for e-visa. I mean visa on arrival. But you need to have a written ticket bookings and the hotel bookings. So since I traveled with Gold Maldives, I have the booking details of all the stays I am going to stay. So that I uh, have put in a declaration form you have to keep and the e-visa is like this easy uh, in Maldives. All thanks to the government. It's crazy good. Okay. So yeah, that's how you'll get e-visa. So you'll enter into the uh, country and after that everything will be taken care of gold maldives you don't have to worry at all those package includes everything the food stay in those two uh, hotels the two islands and the transfers in between the islands the boat rides whether it may be public uh, or private boats or whatever it may be it's on their availability and kayaking and paddling so you can do these two water activities in the Fushi island and it is also included in the package you don't have to pay anything extra for that so this is a beautiful package for beginners who wants to travel international and it's not luxurious so yeah let me tell you the price directly here so the package so whatever i told the four nights uh, the food and all and all everything is included in this package and this package is 903 usd for two people again so because like they book hotel room so hotel rooms is can accommodate two people so they charge for two people so it's better you come two people <laughs> it's like it can be a couple it can be two friends or four friends in two rooms or anything like that okay so it is like 903 usd and i'm telling this in usd and not in indian rupees because almost uh, this country accepts usd like crazy everywhere usd they accept even though Maldivian Rufia is the actual currency of this country, they accept USD as well and they uh, tell you in USD only. So 903 USD is around uh, 74,000. So 74,000 for two people is like some 37,000 for one person. And the flight ticket is obviously uh, differs in some uh, cases because like I travel from Bangalore. Some people who travel from Kochi may be getting a lesser price on their tickets. And if you book like way advanced, obviously the ticket prices are less. So I booked a little bit early from Bangalore and it costed me around the round trip. It costed me around like 15,000 uh, around. So 37,000 plus 15,000 is like 52,000. 52,000, 53,000 I have come to Maldives and I stayed for four nights, which is a crazy thing because there are private islands where 
uh, these obviously rich people comes luxurious stay luxurious people will come and it costs you 1 lakh a night whereas when we compare it with gold travels ka budget trip it it will cost you 55000 including your flight tickets if you're traveling from bangalore i'm not sure if you're traveling from bangalore but yeah if you're traveling from bangalore 55000 and you get to stay in two different islands like not like a private resort where only one day one place one, one jaga only only four walls but here you have like crazy experience you can experience the local island with interact with local people two different states different beaches and yeah it's beautiful here and for the price of 55000 around 55000 you are getting all this which is crazy and let me tell you like indian uh, prices like one uh, maldivian rupee is 5.33 indian rupees and one usd as you know it's like 81 or 82 rupees so i'm just telling this because like if you come here you don't have to bring any cash because gold maldives package uh, includes everything so you don't have to spend extra uh, but sometimes there is there should be some emergency fund so i bought some usd along with me only because like i have to do some crazy things here so which is like i did a water activity called uh, sharp point snorkeling for that the price is extra and that is not included in the gold maldives cup package so you have to go uh, it's on it's your own expense okay but sometimes if you want to go out have a mocktail or do some something then you have to pay extra so that's where you need to spend the cash you bring if you want and uh, one advice from my side is so i am a huge diet coke or coca cola fan so i thought like i'll be coming here then i'll be buying so that it will be cold and all <laughs> but they have given you a refrigerator point number 1 mini fridge is also there in this home stays and i didn't bring so that i have to buy it here i could control myself but i couldn't obviously because there are beautiful sunset and beaches and it's very hot it's like a coastal place so obviously you feel like drinking some carbonated water which i also did and i spent so much money on diet coke and diet coke here is 2 dollars you know 2 dollars is 163 rupees and they give you the same amount of coke even the bottle is somewhat small i guess i i felt after drink after spending so much money i felt the bottle is small okay so yes so it's a fall to kacha to be honest which i did which i don't want you to do it and i have seen so many foreigners where uh, who are like very well planned or like they did some crazy international trips i guess they brought uh, the cereal boxes and diet cokes ka bunch Uh, along with themselves, and you can actually bring them because the luggage allowance is 30 kg and it's not 15 kg like domestic. So you can bring that in your luggage so that you can avoid this unnecessary cost. Okay, so that is one mistake I have done, and one good thing I have done, and also you have to do it is avoid buying SIM cards at uh, airports. I mean, you can if you want to like video call people and show off. Yeah, I'm in Maldives and all. which i don't want to do and there is wifi everywhere in this stays there is like crazy wifi i'm vlogging this here only so that how good the wifi is and yes there is good wifi here and the local cafes also has wifi and uh, like there are places like even the airport has wifi so and every details of the boat bookings and everything will be sent to you in whatsapp by gold maldives so you don't have to worry at all So I also didn't take any SIM card, and I survived this five days with Wi-Fi, and it's a good experience. Also, you'll be just leaving your phone aside. So I mean, obviously, you'll use it for taking crazy Insta-worthy pictures. That is sure. But yeah, no phone calls, no hassles for five days, and these five days you can just explore the local beaches and interact with local people. So that's how I have done my Maldives trip. Did I leave anything? I don't think I left anything. Uh, I told you about yes, yes expenses. I said luggage. I said money. Yes, our tickets. Yeah, everything I said. Yes. So if you have any doubts, make sure you comment. I'll be uh, free to answer your questions. It's not at all a problem. And yeah, it was a very good trip for me because of Gold Maldives. It went like very peacefully. I didn't have any trouble at any point of the time, and I truly enjoyed it. and it's like the other part of maldives it's like the true part of maldives where you will be staying in islands local islands and not private islands and yeah that's how it went 
and uh, make sure you uh, subscribe HRAR Universe for more travel inputs or if you want like more travel videos like we are traveling these days like crazy so yes uh, we'll do that so like our videos share our videos and if you have any doubts please do comment them but we still have 500 subscribers only I want it to go to 1000 this year it's a big year we are just in april and i am telling december but please make it we want thousand subscribers because we want to eat cake and we are not eating cake till we uh, reach a uh, thousand subscribers please sir. so please uh, i'm craving cake and it's on you so yes smash that subscribe button let's go to maldives with gold maldives so plan your trip uh, let's go to international trips bro and in budget uh, in budget so bye, I'm signing off. Skew.